Hi, welcome to Gyeong's Kitchen. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to share delicious and most healthy cookie called pineapple cookies. So let's go and start. First ingredients we are going to use one and a half cup oat flour. If you cannot find the oat flour, if you have oats, you can put it in the blender to make a flour texture. Okay, and then next one, you will need a one and a half teaspoon sea salt. And half tablespoon aluminum free baking powder. And one fourth cup turbinado sugar. This is going to be a gluten-free and fat-free and low in sugar. So next one I will use 2 teaspoon stevia extract. So 2 teaspoon equal to half cup sugar. Somehow if you don't want to use the stevia, you can just add extra half cup turbinado sugar. Next one, you will need a half cup chopped walnut. And walnut is very high in a protein, some fat, good fat, and also high in omega-3, which is wonderful for your brain function. We all need to have a right thinking. So it's some walnut. If you are losing your memory, it will help you to function your brain better than it will help you to have a good memory. So all these dry ingredients, we are going to mix it well. And what we need to do, next two ingredients, we call the half, what if we need a one cup pineapple. But so when you open the can of the pineapple, you need to take a half cup chunk pineapple, then you need a half cup pineapple juice to make one cup. This is very important because this is the only liquid I'm using for this cookie recipe. Put it in blender. And blend it until kind of smooth. While I'm blending, I'm gonna turn the oven at 350 degrees. Good enough. Few seconds. That will work. So. From here, okay, I'm going to turn this one off. Let's go again. Pineapple mixture into dry mixture. Mmm, pineapple smells so good. You know, this is, I tried one time, a friend of mine told me that her grandmother uh, used to make the pineapple cookies, however, their ingredients are very unhealthy, using uh, dairy and eggs and baking soda. So she asked me if I could come out with the vegan version. So praise God, and God helped me to put this recipe, most healthy cookie, and very delicious. Uh, this is one of my favorite, favorite cookies. Oh, from here, I forgot to put some vanilla, one teaspoon. If you need a recipe, written recipe, they are in the description below the video. All right. Mixing is all done. Okay, so 
what I will do from here I will show you how to make delicious cookies and healthy let's go ahead and move this one out and make some cookie sheet okay let's go ahead and scoop this one out if you don't have a small ice cream scooper you can just use here use this egg spoon to take it out and oat contains very high fiber and this is a complex carbohydrate I'm gonna only show you six of them and from here since we don't using a baking soda it's not gonna be flattened by itself so dip in some finger in the wet water just flatten like this and this is a complex carbohydrate and really safe for any diabetes to eat and it will go into your bloodstream really slowly and it turn into energy also because of the high fiber it will lower your cholesterol wouldn't you love to have some cookies have such a healthy benefit for you okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go all finish, put it in the oven, bake for 18 to 20 minutes. Then I will come back with finished product. So don't go away. Hi, welcome back. Cookies just came out from hot oven. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Try this one. It's gluten free and very delicious and low in sugar. There's no fat whatsoever. Such a good for your brain, good for your heart, and will turn into lots of energy. So thank you for watching. See you until next program. May God richly bless you.